Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, this is I think the first time I'm doing this, but I am going to do a monthly favorites, okay? I know that this is a popular topic here on YouTube, but if I'm being honest, I usually don't try enough new products within a month's time to be like, okay, these are my brand new favorites. So I decided to kind of do my own amalgamation here. Basically, I'm gonna be talking to you about favorites and fails throughout the month, and these might not be new items. These might be rediscovered items. These might be items that came out in 2011, but I just tried them for the first time, or maybe I've been trying them, and I just keep forgetting to talk about them. But I just wanna let you know about all the things that I've been loving this month. Let me know if you would like to see this as a series each month. Let me know in the comments down below, but let's jump right in. The first favorite. I mean, I know you probably all knew this was coming, but the Melt Glitter Pots that came out with the Mary Jane collection, I cannot stress enough how amazing these are. I'm wearing one on my lids today. They are so freaking beautiful. I'm wearing this one, actually. This is the shade Burnout. They are absolutely stunning. You take a tiny bit and you pat it on. Oh God, hybrid. This is hybrid, right? Yeah, this is hybrid. This is one of my favorites. This is that gunmetal. You pat it on and the impact is so strong and so beautiful and they don't go anywhere. And then that one's pothead. They're just, they're really, really, really intensely beautiful. If you are a glitter person, get these hands down. This is my favorite favorite thing of the month. I feel like I should have built up to this, like from number 10 to number one. No, we're going to start with number one and it's all downhill from here. It's not downhill. This is all still some good shit. It's just like these. <sighs> Staying along that same line, obviously the Melt Mary Jane palette. I have been loving this so much more than I was expecting. I'll be honest. I thought that this would be a cool addition to my makeup collection because I don't have any other cool tone palettes. This has been so much more. I have used this so many times, like easily since I've gotten it, I've used it 10 times, I'd say. I used it for my look today. I've just been really, really loving playing with this. But there is one thing that I want to say. I'm not gonna call this a fail, but I do wanna bring it to your attention. So in my review, I said that the shades Mary Jane and Kelly were quite difficult for me to work with. They still are, I'm not gonna lie. They are not easy shades to work with, but those are shades that if you have the time and the patience, they have amazing payoff. I am wearing Mary Jane on my lid today under the glitter and it was vibrant and beautiful and everything like that, but it took some work, I will say that. So if you are looking for an easy, no muss gold shade, that's not the color for you. The mattes in this palette are a freaking dream. And actually most of the shimmers are too. It's literally just these two shades that take a little bit of extra work. But again, I'm not calling them a fail whatsoever because if you have the time and the patience, it is worth it. Now, this is something I don't think I've talked about yet, but in the beginning of this month, I was lucky enough to receive a package from Koki Cosmetics, which I think I had tried maybe some of their lip products before, but never really tried a whole bunch of stuff. And they sent me some of their foundation and concealer. I'm gonna sneeze, it's there. It just won't come out like, hello. And then it went away. I feel like that's the worst. I'm gonna like sneeze in the middle of talking. Okay, so the foundation is called Skin Perfect HD. I was very hesitant about trying this because doesn't this look exactly like the Makeup Forever HD foundation? And that is known to be a pretty full coverage, heavier foundation. This is not. So this is about a medium coverage and it gives a basically a satin finish. Your skin has still that sort of natural luminosity. It is not a luminous foundation, but it does have natural luminosity. It blends like a dream. And somehow the shade they sent me is pretty good. Now, I have been walking outside a lot lately. And even though I'm wearing sunblock, I'm getting a little bit of color. Look at me. So right at this second, this is like this much too light for me. This is gonna be my perfect winter shade though. And I still use it now. I just mix it in with other foundations. I did use a little bit of it today mixed in with my foundation, but I love this. But more than that, the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer can I say this is my new favorite? This is my new favorite concealer. 
this is my new favorite concealer. Okay. A little bit goes such a long way and it is so creamy and it doesn't crease under my eyes. So obviously as I get older, my under eyes, the skin under your eyes is very thin, very sensitive, and it does crease a bit more. This does not. And I do set this down with a tiny bit of powder, but most days I don't even do that. I just really love how easy it is to blend out. It's very brightening. It's called Be Bright and it is illuminating at the same time, but it's not like glowy. It's just illuminating. Does that make sense? Either way, I really, really, really enjoy this. Also, I found out that Koki is based in Maryland. That's kind of exciting. We don't have many brands based here, so it's, it's very exciting. Let's go with a product that is newer to me, but I'm already pretty in love with it. So during my Sephora VIB sale haul, I told you that I got the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Crayon in the shade Noah, N-O-A. I'm gonna keep spelling it out because it's probably like Nue or something like that and I'm just butchering the name. But these retail for $22. I am now officially keeping a very close eye on the Natasha Denona website because I need every shade they have of this. This is the best lip pencil I have used in a very long time. It is creamy and it doesn't pull at your lips, but my favorite part about it is it's creamy and it's blendable when you're putting it on, but then it stays there. I put this pencil on with some lipstick around, I'd say like 7.30 in the morning I had to take my lipstick off at the end of the day around 8 p.m. Do you know how insane that is? I had three meals in that time. I talked a whole lot. I had an ice cream and cookie sandwich. By the way, do you all, am I the last person to know about insomnia cookies? Because I had it for the first time last week and oh my God. Plus, fun fact, if you didn't know, I'm allergic to chocolate. So they have a ton of non-chocolate options and it made me so damn happy. Also for everyone who's gonna comment down below like, oh my God, I couldn't live without chocolate. Trust me, you can live and it's because there's peanut butter. Back to the lip pencil, Whew, I went on a tangent there. I just really, really enjoy it. I love how creamy it is. And also I feel like the price is on par with other high-end lip liners. So it's nothing extreme, even though Natasha Denona prices tend to be very high. This is the same price as Urban Decay, as Charlotte Tilbury, as any of those. So I feel comfortable buying a bunch. I wouldn't mind a sale though. So Natasha, if you're watching this, cause I know you watch all of my videos and you comment every single time. You don't do any of that. Just can you please just put these on sale? Like 20% off. I'll buy a bunch, I promise. I have two more things that are in my favorites column and then two things that are in the fails. So hang on for them. These, oh my gosh. Okay, so these are not brand new items to the month of April, but they were ones that I really, really used so, so, so much. So the first, is the Ofra Verified Liquid Liner. This might be one of my favorite liquid liners I've used in a very long time. So it does have a felt tip, but it is extremely sharp at the point. It does not fray at all. It creates a beautiful, smooth line, which for me, I got old lady lids. It just glides across so beautifully and it stays there. It doesn't budge at all. You do have time, like you can clean it up with you know, a Q-tip and some makeup remover or something like that, but it just glides on so smoothly. And again, it stays there. That's my biggest thing. I feel like a lot of my liquid liners throughout the day, maybe they get crackly or maybe they fade a little bit. No, not this. This is just, it's the blackest black that was ever black with liner that is black. The sunshine's getting to my brains. I really, really love this as far as a liquid liner goes and sticking with Ofra. Okay, I knew I loved this the first time I tried it, but I have been using it like four or five times a week and it means that I'm gonna have to stock up, okay? So this is the Ofra Gloss in Queen. This is what came out with Samantha March's second collab with Ofra. It's nude with lots of shimmer in it, but as with all Ofra glosses, you can't feel the shimmer at all. It just feels comfy and hydrating almost, and it's never sticky, but this shade in particular creates my perfect nude lip of all time. Like seriously, I'm gonna need some backups of this. This is, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, you need it. I know I'm not supposed to say you need it because it's just makeup, but like, you wanna feel better about yourself, you need it. 
Then we have two things for me that were in the fail category. So if you watched my last video where I was testing out all of the makeup I bought from the Sephora sale, I tested out the Tower 28 Bronzino and it's supposed to be just an illuminating cream bronzer, but when I put it on, I saw absolutely nothing. In the pan, it was definitely deeper than my skin tone. On my skin, it just kind of looked like I had a stick highlighter on or something, which is nice, but that's not what I was looking for. I have plenty of those stick highlighters. That's not what I was looking for. I wanted a golden glowy bronze. I did not get that. So I did wind up returning that to Sephora yesterday, which bums me out because honestly, when I shop in those Sephora sales, I am so sure about my list by the end of it because I go over and over and over that list that I never return anything. But I did have to return this because I'm sorry, it just kind of sucked on me. And then finally, this is going to be kind of a spoiler alert to my next BoxyCharm video, but the Eloise Get Gleaming Body Glow Illuminator. I've already tried this several times since I did my BoxyCharm unboxing. I think I hate this. I think I can say I hate it. It is just the most sticky, horrible shit I've used in a long time. I don't know another way to describe it. It is, okay, I'm gonna do this for you guys. I'm gonna put this on my hand. So you can see that it is very glowy and it just, it feels, it genuinely feels like you're putting lip balm on your hand. I, I already, I gotta take it off. And plus there's actual glitter in here, which is not something I like for a body illuminator or for a highlighter. I like shimmer, but not glitter. Glitter for me is the eyes or the lips or whatever, or maybe as a, anyway, glitter is for everything, but I just did not like this at all. The consistency is terrible. Like I just wiped it off my hand and my hand is still sticky. I, I hated this. I hated this. You're gonna see that in my next month's video, but goodbye Eloise. <laughs> So that's it, my first monthly favorites video ever. Let me know if you guys wanna see these each month. I had fun doing this because also it made me realize what stuff I've really, really been using since I'm not just talking about brand new products. It made me realize the stuff that I'm going for again and again. And I'm gonna try in future months to not talk about the same things over and over, but I wanted you to know what I'm loving right now. So future months may include a book or something from Amazon or a piece of clothing I'm really loving. So, oh, I can already think of what to do next month. <gasps> but that's it. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you'd give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I do put out several videos a week all about cruelty-free makeup, skincare, hair care, and I would love to have you as a part of the fam. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all glitter fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. And I love you so much with my whole heart. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.